day you made I'll rejoice and be glad in you This is true. This is the day you made. I'll rejoice and be glad in you. This is supernatural praise rising up in my heart, up in my heart. A sound that has to be made. Oh, Lord. Come on, let your voice say. This so Supernatural praise rising up in my heart, up in my heart. A sound that has to be made. Oh Lord, whenever you have God, we lift your voice to sing. So my heart will sing. You are good. You are good. Whatever comes my way, I will trust in you. This is the day you made, so I will give you praise. Whatever comes, can we lift your voice? I will rejoice. Can we say, This is the day you made, so I will give you praise. Whatever comes my way, I rejoice in you. This is the day you made, so I will give you praise. Whatever comes my way, I rejoice in you.
sacrifice, Lord, to lift you high. I come to you every night and day, Lord, to give you praise. And you're amazing, forever reigning, my God, my God. There's no one like you, you're not beside you, my God. For the past week, so kahapon or sa nung isang araw, sino na nalangin sa Panginoon? At sinagot niya yung prayers niyo. Amen. And that continues to be, and that continues, you know, to prove that God is alive. Amen. Buhay ang Panginoon. Amen. At deserve niya ang pagpuri sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Why don't we just lift our hands? Itaas natin ating kamay. And let's thank Him. Father, we thank You, Jesus, for the day. We thank You, God, sa buhay na binigay mo sa amin. For the air that we breathe. We thank You, Jesus, for the food that we eat, for the clothes that we wear. For You have provided everything that we need, Lord. And today, as we worship You, we're humbling down ourselves before You, God, and we surrender it all to You. We thank You that You have answered us. We thank You, God, that You heard us. You listened to us, Lord. We just continue to worship you and we believe, oh God, in your name, in your name that is alive, in your name that has power, power to heal, power to restore. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for you are our salvation. We thank you, God. We worship you today, God. We thank you, God. Kulang, Lord, yung pagpuri namin ngayon. Tinataas namin na aming kamay because you deserve it, God. Naging mabuti ka. You have been faithful. You have supplied all our needs, Lord. And this is us surrendering it all to you. Because without you, God, hindi kami nakatayo ngayon dito. Without you, Lord, we are nothing. And that is why we worship you, Jesus.
Hallelujah. Let's give Him praise. Palakpakan po natin ang Diyos sa buhay. Let us worship the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We bless Your name, Lord. We bless Your name, Lord. Come on, Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Tas po natin ang ating dalawang kamay sa Diyos at pasalamatan po natin ang Panginoon. Sige po, start praising Him, start giving Him thanks. Alam nyo, minsan hindi natin ito nagagawa na pasalamatan siya. Ang totoo, magising ka lamang, pinagpala ka na. Kaya pasalamatan po natin ang Panginoon. Come on, come on. Give Him thanks, give Him thanks. Give Him thanks. Give Him thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give Him thanks. The Lord is worthy to be praised. The Lord is worthy to give thanks. Pasalamatan po natin siya. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Panginoon, sa umagang ito, itinataas namin ang aming kamay. Nagpapasalamat kami. Nagpapasalamat kami sa bagong buhay at bagong kalakasan. Nagpapasalamat kami sa aming kinakain araw-araw. Nagpapasalamat kami, Panginoong Diyos, na wala kami sa ospital at nandito kami sa iyong lugar ng sambahan, Panginoon. Nagpapasalamat kami sa 24 oras na protection mo. Nagpapasalamat kami sa katapatan at kabutihan mo. Niluluwal, hati ka namin, Panginoong Diyos. Salamat po, Panginoon. Pagpalain mo po ang iyong mga anak. Ang iyong mga anak na nangangailangan ng tulong ay tutulungan mo sa araw na ito. Ang mga anak mo na nangangailangan ng kapayapaan at dumadanas ng iba't ibang uri ng pagsubok ay papayapain mo sa araw na ito. Lalabas ang iyong mga anak na pinagpala. Lalabas ang iyong mga anak, Panginoong Diyos, na tinanggap ang katugunan sa kanilang mga problema. Salamat sa iyo. Luwalhati sa iyong mga pangyarihang pangalan sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Walking in the way of your laws, we wait for you. Your name and renown are the desire of our hearts. Magandang umaga po, pwede bang batiin mo muna ang iyong katabi, sabihin mo, masaya ako. 
na tinabihan mo ako ngayon. <laughs> Ayan, and at believe, kung sa labas, init na init po tayo, dito, muntik na po lumamig, no? <laughs> Muntik na po lumamig, nanginginig po ako dun sa likod <laughs> kanina. At this morning, bago ko po uh, tuluyang simulan ang mensahe po ng Panginoon sa umagang ito, nais ko po siyang simulan sa isang mahiwagang tanong. <laughs> Sabihin niyo po, ano yun? <laughs> Ayan, sino po dito ang nakakaranas ngayon ng lamig sa Pilipinas? Diba? Nakakainit po ng ulo yung init. <laughs> Tama ba? Kapag ikaw, after po, after this, sa hapon, maglakad ka simula dito sa church hanggang SM, alas dos ng tanghali. Gusto niyo po? Habaan natin, galing Sorrento hanggang SM. Sino po gusto? Ayaw pa din. Simula niyo hanggang SM. Ayaw. Bakit? Mainit. Pagkatapos niyan, para ako nagdagat sa itim ko. At masakit sa ulo. Tama po ba? At kapag aka ako, tayo, naglakad, simula dito hanggang SM, parang gusto mong may inumin. Kasi nagamit yung energy mo, mainit, tapos ito yung maririnig mo. Ah, may tunog pa. Ay, Alam niyo po kung anong soft drinks to. Ano to? Pwedeng sarsi, pwedeng coke, pwedeng root beer. Lahat na soft drinks. Okay na ako, mute mo na. <laughs> Natutuwa din ako masyado. Na to. No, kapag nagbubukas ka ng, ng soft drinks, matik. Diba? Marili, gusto mo minsan pakinggan. At meron pang kasamang yelo. So gusto niyo na po ba ulit maglakad? Ako hindi pa din. <laughs> Painit. Pero nakaka-quench nakaka- po siya ng uhaw. Tapos matamis pa. Mm. Kaya hindi po natin pag-uusapan yung coke. Sino po dito ang hindi na po umiinom ng soft drinks? Sana all. <laughs> Ayan, kasi ako po ay sweet tooth. No? Kaya po, I believe, kaya merong bumibitaw sa soft drinks. Kahit na anong init, magtutubig na lang ako, Mariel, na may yelo. <laughs> No, hindi na ako magsusoft drinks. Bakit? Kasi, alam niyo po, ang Coke, sorry na Coke, <laughs> ang Coke po ay sugar. Pero, mas sarap. <laughs> sarap. Di ba? Ako po na may sa matamis, masarap yan. Pero, we have to do something to be healthy. Kaya po, tinanong ko, meron dyan bumibitaw na sa Coke. Lord, tulungan mo ko. <laughs> no, kailangan po natin isakripisyo ang kok para sa kalusugan ko. Sino po willing bitawan ang kok? <laughs> But parang hindi kayo sure. <laughs> May nagtaas, hindi siya sure. Diba? It's hard when it's, when it's masarap. Kunyo yan. <laughs> kapag masarap, kapag ka humahagod yung pssssss, masarap siya. Pero, To gain good health, you have to sacrifice for something. Ano? Hindi lang naman cook. Baka away na ako ng kumpanya ng cook, no? Lahat ng matamis. Back to me. <laughs> Kausap ko po sarili ko, nakamike lang. Back to me. <laughs> diba? And to a lot of things, kailangan kong isakripisyo ang cook for me to be healthy. Yun po talaga yung pag-uusapan natin. Kasi DOH po talaga tayo ngayon. <laughs> Kaya, this morning, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay sarila, salitang? No, ang aga-aga, sacrifice. Ang biro nga sa akin, kakatapos lang din ang Holy Week. <laughs> Bakit nasa sakripisyo ka pa din? <laughs> Ayan, kaya sa umagang ito, ito po ang ating pag-uusapan. Pwede bang sabay-sabay po nating basahin in one, two, three, go. your spiritual worship. Ayan. May the Lord bless the reading of His Word. May we bow down our heads, close our eyes, and let's pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Panginoon. We glorify you over this place. We acknowledge, O oh Lord, na bago pa kami pumunta dito, you have been magnifying yourself in us. But Lord, in us, we have Jesus. 
in have we have you. You never left nor even have forsaken us. Kaya kaya namin iwagayway ang banner of victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, this morning, nagpapasiyasat po kami simula sa aming isip, sa aming puso, in everything of our being. Sanctify us, Jesus, with your blood. Forgive us, Lord, sa mga bagay na gawa namin, intentional man or unintentional, humihingi po kami ng kapatawaran. At damitan mo kami, Panginoon, na katwiran ng iyong anak na Jesus. At together as one family, we take hold of the authority of Jesus Christ in us. Clothe us with His righteousness. Kaya kaya namin umupo sa paanan ng iyong trono ng habag sa umagang ito. At marinig ang iyong salita na katulad ng iyong sinabi, Panginoon, Your word is alive and it is active. It pierces us from our flesh to bones to marrows that it will even divide the soul to the spirits. It is also the discerner of thoughts at tagatama ng motive. Father, before you, We are laid down. Take charge and take over. We will get out of this place transformed and changed by your word. Holy Spirit, be our master teacher. Take over sa umagang ito. Keep our focus in our eyes, our ears, and every part of us to you alone, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Sige po, palakpakan po natin ng Panginoon. Alam niyo po, uh, to this verse, uh, it speaks something. No? Kitang-kita na po kung ano yung pag-uusapan natin. Pero, isesegue ko po ng very, very slight ang pag-uusapan natin. This is a letter to the Romans. Mga ngapit bahay lang po tayo ng mga letter sa taga Hebrews. Ayan, the first, ver- first verse says here in Hebrews 13.12, by the way, I am using the ESV version, So Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through His own blood. Uh, background po of the story, ang buong Hebrews po, last chapter na po ang 13, ang pinag-uusapan po dyan is about faith, about uh, the sacrifices of Jesus Christ. Okay, yun po yung summary. Ito po ay dulo na. Dulo na siya at sinabi dito, kinuwento niya, that Jesus suffered outside the gate. So, nasa anong book nga po ang Hebrews? Dalawang hati, the old and the new, nasa New Testament po tayo. So, babalik lang po ako ng konting, very slight, sa Old Testament. Sa Old Testament po, kapag ikaw ay magsasakripisyo ng pagsamba sa Panginoon, ano po ang pinapatay at inaalay? Hayop. Ako, ako po ba yun? Biro lang. Hayop. Merong hayop na kakatayin para maging sacrificial lamb or animal magiging pagsamba yun sa Panginoon kasi naglilinis. Part of the routine to honor the Lord over the ark sa labas ng camp, sinusunog na po ang alay. At sabi po dito, Jesus also suffered Outside the gate. Even Jesus went outside the gate. Eh, ang tanong, bakit? What is outside the gate? Sabi po dyan, outside the gate, it speaks about the place for sacrificial animal. Lugar kung saan pinapatay at inaalay po ang mga hayop. Pangit po pakinggan yung susunod kong sasabihin. But this is the truth. Si Jesus nagpakahayop para sa iyo at para sa akin. Tapos na po yung message. Okay na po dito sa dulo. Why? Jesus went outside the camp when in fact His home is in the Holy of Holies. Ang tunay po na tahanan ng Panginoon ay langit. Tama po ba? Langit. He went outside the camp to die on the cross. To die talaga. To die on the cross. This is what happened. He went outside the gate. He went outside not his world, but he went outside. 
imperfections. Kasi sa loob po, He walks in harmony with the Lord. He walks in harmony with perfection, with heavenly realm. He walks in harmony. Pero He went outside the, ga- the gate to a place that is only for sacrificial animals. And can you imagine si Jesus nagpakahayop? Gusto niyo rin po bang katayin kayo? Kung tatanungin ko po kayo, would you be willing to go outside the gate? Para maging alay? Baka pagkatapos po nito, wala na po mag-church. Iaalay, pamira. Papatayin? What happened to Jesus? Jesus was laid bare. Binalatan. Kinawawa. Bakaya pala sa sumunod na verse sabi dito, kung yung po yung tanong ko, nung lumabas po siya outside the, ga- the gate, that was for the reason to, sabi nyo nga po, sanctify. Are you a people? Tao ka ba? Nako, parang ilan lang yung mga dalawa lang yung tao dito. Lord, <laughs> di ba? Tao ka ba? Yon, amen. Meaning, in order to sanctify you and me through His own blood. Tapos na po talaga yung message. Conclusion na po talaga to. He went outside the gate to die for you and for me. Tapos na po ang mesahe. Pwede na po tapusin dito, di ba? Kasi He really died. That's the truth. Pero, hindi ayaw po ng Panginoon na ito na lang. Alam mo lang. Narinig mo lang, sabi ni, ano eh, sino nga yan? Sino nga yung stipig of dyan? <laughs> sabi ni Marielle eh, namatay. Oo nga, naniniwala naman ako dun. No? Everybody believes that the Lord died on the cross for you and for me. For us to gain eternity. But this time, gusto ko pong isunod sa susunod na verse na ipakilak po yung pintuan ng sanctuary. Baka may lumabas. <laughs> no? What is the second verse? Sabi po dito, Hebrews 13, 13. Pwede bang pakibasa in 1, 2, 3, go! Usto niyo yun? <laughs> no? Sabi po ng Panginoon, Therefore, meaning, simula Hebrews 1 hanggang 13, sinasummarize niya na po. Sa makatuwid, sa lahat ng nalaman mo from Hebrews 1 to 13, tara, sunod tayo kay Jesus. Gusto niyo po? Kakatayin din? Sa labas ng camp? Iaalay? Nakakita na po ba kayo ng uh, manok na kinakatay? Baboy na kinakatay? Sino po dito nakakita na? Ako po nakakita na po ako sa kapitbahay namin dati nung bata ako. Okay. Gusto niyo po? Kayo din? Sorry po, I'd be honest. Ayoko. <laughs> Di ko ma-imagine. Tapos ipiprito pa yung balat mo? Di po. Ipiprito sa init ng araw? Sa Pilipinas ka pa kinatay? Ang gore po ng explanation ko, no? Bakit? Because Jesus experienced the same when He went outside the camp. Pwede hindi naman eh. Pwede, sige, perfect na lang lahat ng gawin natin, no? Oh, perfect na si Teacher Joe. Perfect na si JJ. Lahat perfect na lang. Pwede naman. Diyos eh. Pero why do we have to follow Him? Sabi dyan, bibigyan ko po ng diin. Masakit na po sa mata to. Nasusunod tayo. Pero i-highlight ko pa. Let us go to Him. Gusto niya pa po. Ituloy yung message. <laughs> Let us go to Him outside the camp. Bakit? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng camp? Si Jesus, ang camp niya was His world of perfection. Ang camp po natin ngayon is where we are living today. The world. This is my camp. Pero sabi dyan, let us go therefore outside the camp. Lumabas ka sa kung nasaan ka ngayon. Anong ibig sabihin? We have to leave behind the love for the world. 
and its desire for approval. The matic, ang matic po na gusto ng tao, the approval of men. Gusto natin na sasabihin tayo na, ang ganda ng buhok mo today. Ayan, narinig ko po kanina. Umurong lang po yan. <laughs> no, ang ganda ng buhok mo. Or bagay sa'yo damit mo. Sis, bagay sa'yo ang blue. No? Kapag nakakarinig po tayo ng approval ng ibang tao, masarap po sa tenga. Pero pag nilait ka, gusto mo na pong sapakin. Di ba? Gusto mo na sapakin. Pero sabi dito, we have to leave behind the love for the world. Ano bang world mo ngayon? Ano bang world mo? At masegway ko lang po ng konti, na share ko na po one time to, hindi ko po alam po saan. Ang sabi dito, the love for the world. Ako po ay nasa jeep. Papuntang night watch. By the way, may night watch po tayo kada, kada biyernes, 7 p.m. So papunta po ako dito. I went earlier kasi nakaschedule po ako noon to preach. Nung nasa jeep po ako, talagang babaybayin po natin simula just in bilanggan dito. Nung nasa jeep po ako, siguro side ng Starbucks, <laughs> bigla ko pong, magla ko nagkaroon ng takot. Ano po yung takot ko? Pumasok sa isip ko bigla, paano pag bumaba ako ng jeep? Eh, tatawid po ako eh. From Divi Mar, tatawid po ako pa ABC pag bumaba ako ng jeep. Paano kung masagasaan ako dun? Yung takot ko po talaga, yung takot ko na mamatay any moment, hindi. Talaga umiiyak po ako sa Lord sa jeep para akong gumagawa, gumagawa ng music video. Ano po? Umiyak ako, sabi ko, Lord, bakit? Huwag ngayon, may, may, ano pa ako, may schedule pa ako sa J12. Magtuturo pa ako sa Night Watch. Wala pa kami anak ng asawa ko. Yung nanay ko, iiyak yun. Parang ganun. I have a lot in my mind. I was begging God, Lord, pwede wag muna, wag muna. I was fearing to leave the world. Wag mo muna akong tanggalin sa mundo. Hindi pa po ako nakakariting ng SM. Pinapacify po ako ng Lord. At, There was a soft voice in me na nirebuke po ako na sobrang talas. Ano pong sabi ng Lord? Why are you begging for your life too much? Eh di ba, ang disenyo ko sa'yo, palangit. I was rebuked by the Lord that I have been loving my world too much na kaya ko ipagpalit yung mundo ko ngayon sa presensya ng Panginoon. Magsispeak po ako ng hiyang-hiya ako sa Lord. Na kaya kong ipagpalit yung, yung uh, ministry ko sa Panginoon. Kaya kong ipagpalit yung asawa ko sa Panginoon. Masyado pong derecho. So, so kailangan ko kalimutan yun? Hindi po. Anything that goes before God is an idol. And if you love your life, And if you love the world too much, that's an idol. Masakit po pakinggan. But we have to always point back that this life is never really ours. Pahiram lang po ito. And right there and then, I was rebuked by the Lord. You love the world too much. Na ayaw mo sa presensya ko. Ganun ka tindi. Sabi ko, Lord, tatayo pa ba ako? <laughs> Naiya ko bigla, eh, makakatayo pa ba ako? And the Lord was telling me such a lesson, as subtle as being on a jeepney sa Pilipinas sa sobrang init. Kaya ganun na lang pala yung sinasabi ng writer ng Hebrews na let's go outside the camp. Lalabas tayo ng mundo Why? You need not to love the world too much. Na hindi mo na minamahal ang Panginoon. Na hindi mo na, alam mo, ang maganda sa langit, there's perfection, there's no pain, walang luha. Pero bakit hindi natin mapili? Kaya ngayon, kung tatanungin ko po kayo diretso, sino po dito ang handa ng pumunta sa langit? Naiya naman ako. <laughs> diba? Ang totoo, it's hard to answer amen. Lord, narinig mo. 
Oh, di ba? Gusto niyo po kong i-ano? It's hard to say, Lord, I'm ready! As may isip mo, ay, yung anak ko, ano pa lang, five years old. Kasi, we forget about our real reality is the heaven eternity. And the Lord is reminding us, let us go therefore outside the camp. So, pag lumabas ako, Pumunta lang po ako sa konting logic. Pag lumabas po ako, kakatayin din ako, Mariel. Hindi naman. Pero nakalagay po dyan, sa susunod kong i-highlight, that we have to bear the... Ayan. Ginugal ko na lang po yung meaning. The meaning of reproach is the word disapproval. Walang kakomfort-comfort sa Hebrews 13.13. Bakit? Papalabasin ka na sa mundo. Huwag mo man mahalin yung buhay mo. Tapos, paglabas mo, hindi pa yun promised land. Paglabas mo, makakaharap ka pa ng disapproval. Alam mo yung pagpili mo sa Panginoon, pa-church-church pa ka pa. Sure ka ba dyan? Si Jesus ba talaga yan? Eh bakit ganito ka? Pag ako, lumabas ako ng camp, I forget my love for the world, I will be disapproved. Gusto niyo pa rin po ba? Nung inaaral ko po to Lord, wala namang comfort. Walang promise. Walang promise. Paano ko po pangahawakan yung salita mong, I have to go outside the camp. Ihaharap eh, ako ng disapproval. Haharap ako ng pag-ayaw ng mundo. So pag dinisapprove ko yung mundo, the world will disapprove you too. Katulad ng nangyari kay Jesus Christ. He was also disapproved. Pero, pero, pwede bong makabasa? Kinaya ni Jesus. Kaya pwede bang bulungan mo lang yung katabi mo? Kaya mo pa ba? Kaya pa? Or kung wala kang katabi, sabi mo sa salili mo, kaya pa ba self? Kaya pa ba self? Kasi we might be at the season na kinakaya ko na lang. Kung hindi dahil sa Panginoon, hindi ko kakayanin. Yun na yung nililinya natin. Pero Jesus Christ is reminding us, when you go outside the camp, when you go outside the camp, you will bear disapproval. Hindi pa rin po comfort. Kinaya ng Lord? Eh, kinaya ng Lord. Just yun eh. Pero also you can endure. Kaya ngayon, ang totoo, we are in the season of enduring. We are enduring. Why? Because life is easy. <laughs> walang nag-disagree. Madali talaga po ang buhay, ano? Sino po dito ang walang problema? Kasi bibigyan po natin. <laughs> I-share po namin sa'yo. Bakit? Kasi this is the life of a son and a child of God. A daughter of God. We have to le uh, go outside. We have to go outside. Bakit? Kasi hindi pa po dyan natatapos. Lahat po ng to, when you go into this approval, possible na ako po ay naligo. Niligo po ako kahit nilalangon po ako ngayon. <laughs> Buhay pa po ako. Ayan, sabi dyan, your tears for God is never... When you go outside the camp, kapag ikaw lumabas ka sa pag-ibig mo sa mundo, you will be disappointed by its imperfection. Nung tayo po nakakilala sa Panginoon, tama po ba mas nakita po natin ang tama sa mali? Kaya sabi, ang term nga ng mga Kristiyano, ba't parang naging mas mahirap ang buhay nung nakakilala ko sa Panginoon? Kasi, alam na po natin ang tunay na tama sa tunay na mali. Kaya nagre-respond na katawan mo, hindi mali yun eh. Napapakunot na, nakapapaganong ka na lang sa buhok mo kapag nakakikita ka ng mali. At sabi dyan, your tears, your disappointment, your frustration, your pain for God. Everything that breaks the heart of God, it breaks you. Pero it is never wasted. It is never wasted. Bakit? Kasi kasunod po ng next verse, For we have no lasting city. Ayan, tingin po kayo sa likod nyo ngayon. Sa likod, 
wala pong sumunod. <laughs> sa likod, sa harap, sa kaliwa, sa kanan. Everything that your eyes perceives, your ears hear, your nose smells, yes, review, your mouth uh, tastes, your, your skin feels, are temporary. Kaya sabi mo, sa, sabi mo sa katabi mo, hala, hindi forever. Why? Why is this the word of the Lord? Sabi niya kanina, we will bear the reproach as I go outside the camp. He endured, kinaya ng Panginoon. Kaya pala, ganun na lang. Nakakayanin because Jesus was looking not at the temporary. Hindi sa katabi mo na patulog na. Pero sa city that is to come. Gusto niyo po bang sumama sa city that is to come? Ako gusto ko. Ngayon na ba? Humina. <laughs> diba? Kaya sabi po dito, ano ba yung city that is to come? My eternal home. Dalawa lang naman po ang eternal home. Ano pong gusto niyong unahin ko? Alphabetical? <laughs> ang langit? At ang dapat tayo, wala na po sa vocabulary ang second option. Doon tayo sa best option na ginawa na ng Panginoon. Damatik na passportan at natatakan na po tayo sa immigration. You are okay to go to heaven. I am looking forward to my heaven. Kaya pala, sa naunang verse kanina, let us, therefore, let us go outside the camp and bear the reproach for Jesus Christ endured. Bakit? Kakayanin ko kasi alam ko saan ako papunta. Kaya pala, yung katabi mo, kinakaya niya. Kasi ganun na lang ang pagtingin niya sa Panginoon. Kinakaya kasi ayokong sa iba ako mapunta. Kaya pala may salita ang Panginoon, fix your eyes on Jesus. Kaya sabi dito, through, wala pong ibang way to go to heaven, but through Jesus. Kaya hindi po dahil sa love mo for the ministry, hindi po sa dami ng lingkod mo ang passport papuntang langit. Ang passport natin lahat papuntang langit is the mere fact that you believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and for me. Kasi kung hanggang ngayon, question mark pa rin yun sa'yo, usap tayo, pe-pray tayo together. Para sang laksang anghel ulit ang kakanta ng kasama natin. Bakit? Bakit ganun na lang that we need to go outside the camp, bear the reproach because He endured? Therefore, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. Narinig nyo na po ang magic word. The sacrifice of praise to God. Iniisip ko, Lord, bakit? Why of all the term? Bakit po sacrifice ang pagsamba sa'yo? The first point, first point pa lang. First point, the first sacrifice of praise that is pleasing to God. Number one, that is the fruit of the lips that acknowledge that he, His name. Can you say the word Hallelujah. Can you say the word, thank you, Jesus? What you did is the fruit of the lips. Kada linggo po, may praise and worship. Kada linggo po, sasamba tayo bago makarinig ng word. One, two, three. Hallelujah. O, oh, diba? Matik na po eh. Pag nag-one, two, three, alam mo, mag-hallelujah ka. Matik. Yun na po yung na-build. Kapag ako sumasamba, maraming lumuluhod na sakit. Kasi yung Diyos na sinasamba ko buhay. Pero doon po ako sa reality. The mouth that we use to say hallelujah, glory to God, you are holy Jesus, 
is the same mouth that we use to gossip against other people. The same mouth that I use to curse other people. The same mouth that I use kapag ka yung jeep na sinasakyan ko, eh, eroplano pala. Kuya, hindi mo ba mahal ang buhay mo? Toot! Tapos linggo. Why? Kasi yung mundo natin, hindi lang po linggo. Mayroon po tayo six, day, six days na wala sa loob ng simbahan. Kamusta po kaya ang fruit of our lips? Do we acknowledge His name? Napapangiti ba siya kapag ginagamit mo to? Hindi lang po ito yung fruit of the lips, pati to. Pati yung pagsayaw. Paano mo ginagamit ang kamay mo for the rest of the week? Yung same hands that we used to lift up the Lord, the same hands that we used to clap for Jesus, is the same hands that we used to sin against God. The same eyes that sheds tears every Sunday is the same eyes that sins against the Lord. Pero God is telling us, your sacrifice of praise is the fruit of your bodies that are acknowledging His name. Kaya pala sakripisyo. Kasi may kailangan tayong gawin. Parang yung coke kanina, kailangan kong tanggalin yung coke para meron akong mawin na good health. Kailangan kong tanggalin yung ibang fruit of my lips para talagang mabigyan ko ng gloria ang Panginoon. This is my sacrifice of praise. Lalabas ako ng mundo ko kasi kapag nagstay ako sa mundo ko, I will just worship my world. Mamahalin ko lang mundo ko. This is just first of my sacrifice of praise. Ano pa sabi po in Hebrews uh, 13, 16, do not neglect to and to share what you have for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Kung kanina, we are talking about the fruit of our lips. What happens here is a worship to the Lord, is a sacrifice of praise to God to do good. And to share what you have, I'm not speaking about time, service. You share what you have. Hindi lang po sa simbahan nag-share. Sa kapitbahay mo na may aso na laging tuma... Jumejeb sa tapat ng bahay mo. Sa kapit bahay mo na nagpapagpag ng basahan niya sa bakuran mo. Sabi ng Lord, do good. Share what you have. These are sacrifices that are pleasing to God. Napapaisip ako. Sabi ko, Lord, bakit ba kasi sakripisyo? Bakit sakripisyo? Kasi... It is sacrifice to do good and to share what you have to the people you do not understand. It's hard to do good and to share what you have for the people who offends you. It's hard to do good and to share what you have to those people who betrayed you. Mahirap. Ang topo, sobrang hirap. It's really hard. And if anyway, you were offended by a person right at this moment, na siya unang muna iisip, the Lord is telling us, anak, it is a sacrifice of praise that is pleasing to the Lord to do good and to share what you have to those people who hurt you. Not just to the people. Madali pong gumawa ng mabuti sa taong mahal mo eh. Madali pong wala pong ka-effort-effort, hindi ka mag endure wala pong disapproval kapag ang minamahal mo lagi, yung mahal ka lang. Pero ang Panginoon, He made the language different. Ang minahal niya yung hindi ka mahal-mahal. Ang kaya siya namatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo, hindi siya nagmamahal sa Kanya. That even before we were sinners, He died for you and for me. Namili ba? hindi niya hinantay na magsabi ka ng I love you, Lord, bago siya namatay para sa atin. But even before we were sinners, we were given, ginawa niya tayo ng mabuti. He shared what He had. 
kahit na hindi niya na rin tayo maintindihan. But these two things, plus the fruit of our lips, are the praises, are the sacrifices that are pleasing to God. This is the hardest message I've heard, ever heard from the Lord. Kasi ang hirap. Why would I do good to people that are judging me behind my back? Why would I declare blessing to the people who betrayed me? Why would I tell I love you too to the people who says I love you to me in front of everybody pero sa likod ko lait na liit na ako? Because this is a sacrifice of praise. Now I realize, kaya pala sacrifice of praise. Kasi ang sakripisyo walang balik. Ang sakripisyo patulak. Ang ibibigay mo, hindi sarili mo. Si Mariel, wala pong ma-offer to. Si Reinhardt, walang mabibigay yan. Pero yung kaya kong ibigay are, is the same love, the same goodness, the same thing that I received from the Lord, that is what I can pass on. Kaya kaya kong sumamba. At sabi po dun sa isa kong nabasa, hindi ko na po naisama, ang sakripisyo daw po that are pleasing, na ginawa to please the Lord is a joy to a child of God. In all honesty, I was crying to the Lord. Sabi ko, ah, Lord, paano naging joy yun? Yung nakasakit sa akin, ganun-ganun na lang? Di ba pwedeng bawian ka muna isang kaltok lang? Hindi pwede. Hindi pwede bawian. Why? If you put vengeance on your hands, you are the God. And as long as we are justifying ourselves, kaya ako dinadjudge yan kasi ganito yan eh. As long as we, we justify ourselves, that is a thin line of pride in us. Meaning we are not pleasing the Lord. But the word of the Lord is reminding us today, we have to do good, to share what you have, and the fruit of your lips that acknowledge the name of Jesus Christ is the sacrifices that are pleasing to God. This is God's language of obedience. For obedience is better than Sabi mo, mag-sacrifice. Kaya pala, ganun na lang yung push ni Paul in Romans. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Kapag ka ikaw, nakatayo ka dito, hindi lang si Rain, lahat ng tumatayo dito, lahat ng naglilingkod na Asher, na Sunday school teacher, lahat ng sumasamba dito. Even us, pagsamba din pala ang maghugas ng plato sa loob ng bahay. Pagsamba din pala ang nag-uusap kayo mag-asawa kapag may tampuhan kayo. Pagsamba rin pala sa Panginoon kapag may sama ako ng loob kay Ate Ani, sasabihin ko sa kanya. Pagsamba rin pala kapag ako offended, dederechohin ko yung nagsabi sa akin, hindi ko itisismis. Alam mo, nasaktan ako ni ganito eh. Pagsamba din pala yun. As simple as the everyday life. Bakit? Sabi po in other translation, talunan ko na po to. So here's what I want you to do. Gagawin natin, but with God helping us, take your everyday, ordinary life. You're sleeping, you're eating, you're going to work, work and walking around life. and place it before God as an offering. Yung araw-araw pala natin dapat ginagawa para sa Panginoon kasi in the first place, this life is never mine. Kasi yung buhay ko, si Mariel, hindi akin to. As the word of the Lord says in Genesis, we are just stewards. just a manager, the real owner of this life. Praise God, it's God. 
Kasi kung hindi, I will push what I want. Kaya pala may word ang Lord. Kaya pala ganito na lang that I have to place it as an offering before my God. It is hard. Hindi ko po manguya yung word ng Lord for so long. I was justifying myself. And if it's hard for you, kung kasama kita, ako po nakatayo na, this is my declaration. Kung kasama kita na nahihirapan ka to do good, to share what you have, and to be consistent with the fruit of your lips to glorify the Lord, pwede ka bang tumayo kasama ko? Kasi sa akin, it's challenge to do worship kahit na wala po ako dito. If it's hard for you to worship the Lord sa trabaho, sa kapitbahay, sa pamilya, sa kaibigan, sa situs, if it's hard for you at hindi tayo consistent, kasama po ako, pwede po ba tayong tumayo? At habang kayo po ay tumatayo, let this scene be seen. Sabi po, Jan, nawala yung aking video. <laughs> I would like to end this with this video. Merong isang hindi nagpakahirap. Sisiyo sa kanya. Hindi nga po siya nasugatan eh. Hindi siya umayaw. Nasabi niya, hindi wag na lang, magagawin ko na ng perfect yung taga si Oji Aguinaldo para tapos na ng palangit na sila. Pero someone was looking right at you this moment na anak, see what I have done. Not to brag, pero baka kasi may bahagi ng buhay natin ngayon that are not honoring the Lord. Baka may bahagi ng puso natin ngayon na hindi na pleasing sa Panginoon. Baka may bahagi ng, ng trabaho, ng gawa ng kamay, laman ng bibig, o paggawa ng mabuti sa hindi ka mahal-mahal, baka hindi na na-honor ang Panginoon. And this eyes is looking right straight at you, not mine. I cannot look at you. Kasi ako, hindi ako perfect. Ito, kung ito titigin sa akin at sasabihin, Anak, are you willing to be a living sacrifice of praise for Jesus? Are you willing to be a living sacrifice for Jesus? Or this time, you are asking for help from the Lord to be a living sacrifice. And if you are asking for help from the Lord, can we worship the Lord with this song together? Hallelujah. So 
the song says, Lord, tell me what moves you. Tell me, Lord, what pleases you. But someone else already did the first move. May una na pong gumalaw. At sino? Jesus went outside of his camp. Kaya kung gusto mong sambahin ng Panginoon, you will ask, Lord, tell me what moves you Ooh, to worship you. bang samahan niyo ako as I lift my hands. Taas po natin. Panginoon, ang mga kamay na to hasn't been as perfect as you are. Panginoon, yung buhay namin, may lapses po kami. May nagagawa kaming hindi maganda. May nasasabi kaming hindi kasi yes yes sa'yo. Yung laman ng puso namin, nag-harbor ng sama ng loob, ng offense. But Lord, you have said into your word that the fruit of the lips, to do good and to share what we have, are the sacrifice that are pleasing to you. Kaya Panginoon, together with COG ABC family, we lift our hands up. Panginoon, tulungan mo kami. Tulungan mo kami, Holy Spirit, be with us. Kasi kung bala namin, hindi namin kaya. Kung yung kayang gawin ng kamay namin para magpatawad, hindi namin kaya, Panginoon. Hindi namin kaya magmahal katulad ng sayo. But Lord, you are reminding us to go outside the camp. As how you did it on the cross. We are so willing to bear the cross that you bore. And we will follow you from this day onwards. We will follow you even if it's hard. Because we are looking forward to what lies ahead. To the eternity in the heaven with you. That's why we will endure with the power of the Holy Spirit in us. Kasi ayaw naming masayang ang luha na ginawa para sa'yo. For you hear every tears. You hear every frustration. That's why we will say hallelujah. Kasi lahat ng sakit, binupaluhod mo. Lahat ng offenses, binupaluhod mo. As we say
sa gitna ng hindi namin kaya, isasamba namin. Iha-hallelujah namin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are a banner of victory. You did it on the cross already. You endured for us. You endured for me. And Lord, as one family, we ask for the Holy Spirit to be the loudest voice that we will hear every day. For the Holy Spirit to be the loudest correction that we will hear every day. Kya Father, we lay ourselves down at your feet and use this life as a living sacrifice of praise. For you alone deserves more than this. Kya Panginoon, As we part ways, Lord, this may end the message. But Lord, the power of the message will work on from this day onwards. Remind us every single day to offer our lives as a living sacrifice of praise that is pleasing to our one true God. May it be words, may it be action, may it be everything, Father. Be honored in our lives all throughout the days with the Holy Spirit in us. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And this time po, as we complete our worship to the Lord, pwede po bang ihanda natin ang ating ikapo at handog? Ayan, let's uh, prepare po our tithes and offering. Ayan, at sa mga ready na ang kompletuhin ang kanyang pagsamba sa Panginoon, let's stand, all stand up. Lahat na po tayo ay tumayo as we end this day. And let's lift up our worship to the Lord. Pwede ba yun? Sige po, and let's bow down our heads and let's pray. Hallelujah. Jesus, we honor you. These are just Not the works of our hands, but Lord, this is the favor that you have blessed us to have. Kaya Lord, continue to work upon the works of the hands of us. Lord, sa gawa ng kamay ng iyong mga anak, Panginoon, ikaw ang siyang maitanghal. Sa bawat businesses, Lord, ikaw ang maitanghal. Sa bawat trabaho, ikaw ang maitanghal. Sa bawat pag-aaral, ikaw ang maitanghal. Kaya Lord, as we complete our worship, we lift up to you our tithes and offering. Bless this mightily, Father, for you alone owns everything. We are just yours towards. Anoint us to be a man and a woman of wisdom as we take charge over this life that you have blessed us to have. And together as one family, we thank you Jesus for your word. This morning, we give back all praises and we claim your blessing of peace, your blessing of joy upon the lives of your people in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody say, Amen! Thank you for joining us today and may the Lord bless you.